Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got these two line segments A, B, and C, D such that two ladders are drawn and in our case, it is B, C and the other one is A, D such that they intersect at this point N as you can see in this figure and now we are going to calculate the length of this line segment MN. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and we are going to use this crossed ladder theorem to solve this given problem and here is our crossed ladder theorem and according to this theorem 1 over this length MN equals to 1 over this length AB plus the length CD. Pretty simple formula. And moreover, this formula is going to be valid as long as these line segments AB, CD, and MN are parallel. And here's one more illustration. As you can see, A, B, C, D, and M, N, they are parallel. So we can easily apply this cross ladder theorem as well. Now let's go ahead and calculate the length of this line segment M, N. As we know, our A, B is 6 and C, D is 10. And here's our crossed ladder theorem. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. We want to calculate MN. So I'm going to write down 1 over MN equal to AB in our case is 6. So I'm going to write down 1 over 6 plus 1 over this CD in our case is 10 units. Let's go ahead and write it down over here. Now let me show you how to add these two fractions on this side. We're going to use a crisscross method. Let's cross multiply this way. So that's going to become 1 times 10 is 10 plus 1 times 6 is 6 divided by 6 times 10 is going to be 60. So if we add on the top that's become 16 over 60. So thus we got 16 over 60 on the right hand side and we have a 1 over M N on the left hand side. Let's flip both sides over so we can write M N over 1 equal to 60 over 16. So that means our M N turns out to be 3.75 so thus our length m n turns out to be 3.75 units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye